Hi guys, this is a quick unboxing and review of the Ishin Turbine QX70 FPV brushed quadcopter. It comes in three different versions, FR Sky, Fly Sky, or DSM2 or DSMX uh, receiver. Mine is the FR Sky. So let's open the box and see what we're getting inside. So this is everything we're getting inside. First of all, we have the quadcopter. It comes with the camera this attached to prevent the antenna from breaking on the shipping. It comes with a little sticker underneath so you can remove it and just place it inside and it will stay like that. We're getting this USB charger for the provided 1S battery. It is done by just plugging the USB into a USB port. When the indicator, the red indicator becomes blue, it means that the charging process has been finished. The battery capacity is 600 mAh and it's one cell. And you have this USB cable that enables you to connect it to uh, the computer in order to configure it on clean flight or better flight. So the USB cable, you have to just connect it here. It's a little bit hard to insert it, but with a little bit of practice, you will do it. The best way to connect the USB cable, you just take a tweezer, hold it here, and then you can just press it like that. You're also getting in a one set of propellers and also this propeller extractor tool. Let's have a look on the quadcopter. So the body is 3D printed. The board has a built-in FR Sky uh, receiver inside. So this is the antenna of the uh, receiver. And you have also a LED uh, strip on the back. Let's weigh it up and see how much it weighs. The weight of the quadcopter without the battery is 38.6 grams. And if we add the battery, it's 54.28 grams. Underneath the board, you have here the buzzer port. And it might be a good idea to add buzzers because these little quadcopters can get lost pretty easily on the field. So it will help you find them, uh, fi find it uh, in the grass or wherever you lose it. In order to bind this quadcopter to your Taranis, you will have to press this binding button here. It's a little bit hard to reach it, but I think you don't have to disassemble the camera in order to do it. So you just have to press it and just connect the battery while your Taranis is on binding mode and it's con configured on D8. I have it on my other videos, so check for example the review, my review of the Ishin FATB FB90. It's a similar method to bind it to your Taranis. The camera is the same camera you're getting also with the Ishin FATB FB90. In order to change the channel, you'll have to just short press this button or to, in order to change the frequency, you will have to long press it. The bottom indi LED indicators are your channel indicators and the top one is the uh, frequency indicator. And this button helps you to switch between PAL and NTSC. And if you long press it, it will reverse the direction of the camera, which means it will turn it upside down. You can see the LED is very bright. I just connected to my computer. And also when you move the throttle, it changes the left, it just two blinks. So it helps you to see if you fly in line of sight to see where it's going. Okay, so I've connected the quadcopter to the computer and I'm going to walk you through all the default settings of this quadcopter. <laughs> After flying this quadcopter, I have these advices for you. First of all, you have to raise these motors. When I, I saw that the, mo the propellers are actually hitting the, the frame. So what I did, 
I just raised it to this point and I put a little bit of uh, hot glue in order to prevent from going back down and it it actually extremely improved this uh, the flying characteristics of this uh, quadcopter it flew much much better and I recommend that you should do it second of all as always glue the propellers which means you have to take them off put just a little bit of hot glue and just place it back and then just let it dry upside down what it will do it will it won't uh, get detached very easily from the motors as it normally it normally does this quadcopter comes without any instructions so uh, in order to find the channels of this uh, camera you can look on the other videos of the Ishin FETB FB90 it will show you all the positions as I told you earlier how to set it up and that's about it. So I think in total, this is a nice quadcopter. It's not as fragile as I thought it would be. Just do yourself a favor, raise the motors, glue the propellers, and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to, subscribe to my channel.